Okay, so problem number 7. Okay, dito sa problem number 7, gumamit tayo ng collector feedback na configuration. Ibig sabihin, collector feedback, okay, nag-feedback tayo okay, ng voltage from the collector. Okay? Kinuha natin yung voltage from collector, okay? Ginawa natin siyang current sa base. Okay? So, yung voltage from collector, kinuha natin para magkaroon ng current sa base. Kaya, ang tawag sa kanya ay collector feedback. Okay, so, dating gawe, So, solve muna natin yung IC sat para safe tayo mamayang makapag-solve ng collector and emitter currents. Okay, and to solve for IC sat, no? Dito sa configuration na to, okay, parang close switch lang to si uh, collector to emitter junction, okay? So, IC sat, is equal to VCC minus VC isat. Okay? And kung curious kayo kung paano na-derive itong formula na to, okay? Dinerive ko yung formula na to again from problem 1 to problem number 3, I think. Okay? So, dun ko siya dinerive. But for now, dinerecho ko na. Okay, so since closed switch lang naman to, so parang ohms low lang siya na Naka-series itong dalawang circuit, ah, dalawang resistor na to. So, VCC minus yung voltage drop ng VC is at all over yung total resistance, which is RC plus RE. Dahil dyan, substitute natin. So, positive 12 minus 0 divided by 2.2 kilo ohms plus 1 kilo ohm. And that is equal to Three point seventy five milliamperes. Ibig sabihin, yung collector current natin is hindi pwedeng lumagpas sa three point seventy five milliamperes. Okay, so now, isusolve na natin itong circuit. And para isolve yung circuit, okay, gagamit tayo ng network theorems, okay? Gagamit tayo ng KVL at KCL. Now, sa KVL or Kirchhoff's voltage law, muna, okay? Maglulup tayo. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, umpisan pala muna natin sa Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, by KCL, dito sa BJT na to, okay? ba by KCL, meron tayong equation 1. And dahil dyan sa equation na yan, okay? ba alam natin na current leaving is equal to current entering. And dito sa BJT, okay, siya yung unang node. Yung current entering dyan is IC and IB equal sa current leaving, that is IE. Okay, the emitter current. Okay, meron pa tayong pangalawang node, which is itong point na to, kung saan kinuha yung uh, yung voltage, okay, yung collector voltage papuntang IB, okay. So, ibig sabihin kung base current yung pumasok dito, we all know na yung current na nandito is base current pa rin, okay? Kasi yun, yun, pala, yun din naman yun. Okay? Since naka-series lang naman yan. Therefore, yung current na lumabas dito is the base current. Then, now, ano man kaya yung, yung current na pumasok dito? Tatawagin natin siyang IC prime. And galing sa node na to, okay? Magkakaroon tayo ng equation 2. Okay? Equation 2 by KCL current entering which is ic prime is equal to the current leaving that is ib plus ic now by KV, mag kvl naman tayo sa kvl maglo tayo from the the pa the source voltage down to the ground so okay Unay muna natin mag-loop dito sa input natin. Okay, sa input natin which is yung dadaanan yung base current. Okay? So, maglo-loop tayo from VCC. Okay? So, VCC minus yung voltage drop ni collector uh, collector resistor minus yung voltage drop ni base resistor minus yung voltage drop ng base emitter junction minus yung voltage drop nitong emitter resistor. 
tatawagin natin siyang equation ah equation number 3 or yung una nating loop so equation number 3 by KVL okay is equal to okay equivalent siya sa VCC minus yung voltage drop nitong collector resistor na to which is IC prime RC minus yung voltage drop nitong resistor na to that is IB RB minus yung voltage drop ng base emitter junction that is VBE minus yung voltage drop nitong emitter resistor that is IE RE that is equal to 0 Okay, so meron tayong tatlong current na unknown dito. So, i-manipulate natin to, okay? Using transfer function, we know that IC is equal to beta IB. At dahil dyan, okay, alam din natin na IE is equal to IB times beta plus 1, okay? From our previous problems. Now, ano naman kayong value nito ni IC prime? IC prime is equal to the sum of base current and collector current. Pwede nating sabihin na sa IC prime is equal to IE. Okay, since pareho lang naman silang sum ng base current and collector current. Okay, so for example, imay man Sige, sabihin na lang natin, i-manipulate natin itong equation number 2. IC prime. Okay? IC prime is equal to IB plus IC. If gagamitin natin sa IC is yung value ng IC na beta IB, so magiging IB plus beta IB. And by, okay, if a factor out natin tong IB, makakuha natin IC prime is equal to IB times beta plus 1. That is exactly equal sa IE. At dahil dyan, okay, papalitan natin si IC prime at si IE ng equation, okay, in terms of IB. So, therefore, makukuha natin VCC minus IB times beta plus 1 RC minus IBRB minus base emitter voltage minus IB times beta plus 1, that is equal to 0. Okay, so, to solve for IB, kailangan din natin siya ulit, i-isolate. At para ma-isolate ma natin yan, okay, ang gagawin natin, transpose natin si IB, okay, lahat ng terms na may IB sa kabilang side. Therefore, makukuha natin, VCC minus base emitter voltage is equal to IB times beta plus 1 RC plus IBRB plus IB times beta plus 1. Okay, so makukuha natin, if, if a factor out natin si base current, okay, makukuha natin VCC minus base emitter voltage is equal to IB times the quantity of Beta plus 1 RC plus RB plus beta plus 1. Oh, sorry. Hindi ko nasulat dito, no? Beta plus 1 RE dito. Meron ding RE dito. Therefore, meron din ditong RE. Okay. So, now, i-divide natin both sides of the equation by beta plus 1 RC plus RB plus beta plus 1 RE. Makukuha natin IB is equal to VCC minus VBE all over beta plus 1 RC plus RB plus beta plus 1 RE. Okay, mahaba bang derivation na? So, by substituting the values, makukuha natin. Okay, di ba ang value ng VCC natin is 12 volts? Okay, 12 volts ang BCC, RC is 2.2 kilo ohms, RB is 470 kilo ohms, and RE is 
1 kilo ohms. So, pabalik tayo. So, IB is equal to VCC, that is 12 volts, minus yung base emitter voltage, okay? Primary constant siya, and hindi siya given. That's why gagamitin natin yung default value ng VBE, that is 0.7 volts. Divided by, ah, sorry, hindi ko pala nailagay yung beta, okay? Beta dito sa problem natin is equal to 100. Okay, 100 pa rin ang beta natin. So, beta plus 1, that is 101 times RC, that is 2.2 kilo ohms, plus RB, that is 470 kilo ohms, plus beta plus 1, that is 101, times RE na 1 kilo ohms. Therefore, ang base current natin dito is equal to 14.246 microamperes. Okay, ang haba, no? Now, ang sunod natin gagawin, okay, hanapin natin si collector current. Collector current is equal to beta IB by using transfer function. So, that is equal to 100 times 14.246 microamperes and that is equal to 1.425 milliamperes. And 1.425 milliamperes is less than the IC sat. Therefore, Okay, ang IC set kasi natin is 3.75 milliamperes. Therefore, the collector current na nakuha natin ngayon is the final answer. And that is good. Okay, now, ano naman ang value ng IE? Okay, IE is equal to IB plus IC. And that is equal to, okay, 14.246 microamperes plus 1.425 milliamperes and IE is equal to 1.439 milliamperes. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung mga current. Isusolve naman natin ngayon yung mga voltages. Okay, and to solve for VCE, okay, maglulup tayo ng isa pa. Okay? Maglulup ulit tayo dito sa original nating circuit. So, maglulup tayo dito naman sa kabilang side. Okay? From VCC, okay, minus yung voltage drop nitong collector resistor, minus the voltage drop of VCE, minus the voltage drop of the emitter resistor, okay, down to the ground. Tawagin natin siya ang equation number 4 or the loop number 2. Okay, so mangyayari. Okay, so equation number 4, loop number 4 natin, equivalent siya sa VCC minus IC prime RC minus VCE minus IERE that is equal to 0. So, meron na tayong VCC and alam natin si IC prime is equal to IE okay, meron tayong IE and RE, so Ita transpose lang natin si VCE sa kabila para mahanap natin. So VCE Okay. Okay, VCE is equal to VCC minus IC prime RC minus IE RE. And VCE is equal to 12 volts minus IC prime which is 1.439 milliamperes 
times RC na 2.2 kilo ohms minus IE that is 1.439 then milliamperes times 1 kilo ohms. VCE is equal to 7.395 volts. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung VCE. Now, we will solve for VC, VB, and VE. Okay. So, i -re draw ko lang ulit yung circuit dito sa side na to. Okay. Para ma-solve natin yung VC, okay, maglulup tayo from VCC hanggang kay VC. Okay, kagaya na sa previous problems, no? Okay, maglulup tayo from the VCC up to the point of the collector. So, tawagin natin siyang loop number 5. So, by loop number 5, Okay, by KVL, okay? Makuha natin dyan. VCC minus IC prime RC minus VC is equal to 0. Okay, so tatranspose lang natin yung VC sa kabila. So, makuha natin VC is equal to VCC minus IC prime RC. At dahil dyan, okay, so, substitute lang natin, 12 volts minus IC prime, which is 1.439 milliamperes times RC na 2.2 kilo ohms. Therefore, VC or the collector voltage is equal to 8.83 volts. Okay, so nakuha na natin si, I, uh, si collector voltage. Now, para makuha naman natin si base voltage, okay, maglulup tayo from VCC hanggang kay base. So, from VCC hanggang dito lang kay base. Tatawagin natin siyang loop number 6. Okay, sa so loop number 6, by KVL, okay, equivalent siya sa VCC minus IC prime RC minus IBRB minus VB is equal to 0. And by transpose lang natin itong VB sa kabila, makuha natin, base voltage is equal to VCC, ah sorry, daming CC, minus IC prime RC minus IBRB. And tama ba? Itong VCC minus IC prime RC is ito, equal sa VC. So, pwede rin natin sabihin, dito sa circuit na to, okay, VB is equal to VC minus IBRB. Pwede rin yun. Or pwede rin uh, gamitin itong equation na to, or pwede rin, since meron na tayong VC, pwede na natin i-substitute. So, VB, or the base voltage, is equal to, okay, ito na lang gamitin natin, 8.83, actually, 8.834 volts yon, okay, minus IBRB, which is 14.246 microamperes, multiplied by RB, which is 470 kilo ohms. So, the base voltage is equal to 2.139 volts. Okay, so meron na tayong VC, meron na tayong VB. Finally, we can solve for VE. And to solve for VE, okay, maraming way para may solve ito. Pwede tayong mag-loop, okay? Pwede tayo mag-loop from VCC hanggang VE dito sa way na to. Pwede rin naman tayo mag-loop from VCC, dadaan tayo dito at papuntang VE. Or pwede rin tayo mag-loop from ground, okay, uh, sorry, from VE at papunta sa ground. Either way, pwede yon. So, pwede tayo mag-loop from VCC hanggang VE. 
Pwede rin naman mag-loop tayo from BCC papunta sa way na to hanggang VE. At pwede rin tayo mag-loop from VE hanggang ground. And ang pinakamadali dito is mag-loop tayo from VE hanggang ground. Since, yung ground yung pinakamalapit sa kanya. Okay, so, loop tayo from VE hanggang ground. Okay, tawagin natin siyang equation 6 by KVL. Okay, equation 6, galing sa KVL, ah, sorry, equation 7 pala, no? So, equation 7 na siya. So, equation 7 by KVL, okay, is VE minus IERE is equal to 0. And kung itatranspose natin yung IERE, VE is equal to IE times RE. And kung substitute natin yan, okay, magiging 1.439 milliamperes multiplied by RE, which is 1 kilo ohms. Therefore, makukuha natin, VE is equal to 1.44 volts. Or 1.439 volts. Or pwede rin natin gawin na si VE, okay, pwede rin yung VE is equal to VB minus 0.7. Kasi nga, di ba, VBE is equal to VB minus VE. And at the same time, VCE is equal to VC minus VE. Okay, so pwede natin makuha yung VE gamit yung VB at VBE. Or pwede rin natin makuha yung VE gamit yung VCE and VC. Okay, so maraming formula lang available para masolve natin ito. Okay, for now, okay, our final answers here, the emitter voltage is equal to 1.44 volts. The base voltage is equal to 2.139 volts or 2.14 volts. The collector voltage is 8.83 volts. The collector to emitter voltage is 7.395 volts. Okay. The emitter current is equal to 1.439 milliamperes. The base current, I the, oh, sorry, the collector current is 1.425 milliamperes. And the base current is 14.246 microamperes. So, okay, so mahaba-habang solution siya. Okay, so if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you have concerns and you have suggestions, okay, recommendations, uh, please, uh, okay, Maya, pwede nyo gamitin yung group or pwede kayo mag-message personally. Alright.